What's up guys and welcome back to another video here for Pro Clubs. As you guys know, the FIFA 17 update just came out for you guys. So we were going to pretty much check out the stuff they added. Of course, I talked about this on my latest video. So of course, if you check a FIFA 17 update, you should it should say that you updated unless you don't have auto updated on. If you have auto update, it should be all set for you guys as you guys can see on the screen. And also, if you go to update history, you guys can pretty much see what they did for Pro Clubs. Again, they added the flare trait. They carried your passive trait from FIFA 16. And of course, they uh, pretty much... Uh, patch the the glitches where you can get excessive skill points so again guys remember for these passive traits to work you need to play fifa 16 to have them so passive traits are like uh outside the foot shot uh penalty uh shutter penalty um driven free kick acrobatic clearance and driven pass and, and a bunch of them driven driv uh driven pass and stuff like that so there's a bunch of them so i'm going to show you guys how the if the flare trait works because that's the first thing that everybody been asking so the first thing you're going to have to do is make sure you have the flare trait on so make sure you go to your dribbling and put your flare flare trait on. That's all you have to put to be able to use it. So just put your flare trait on, as you guys can see on the screen right now. That's all you need to put to be able to use it, and you'll have all set. Because the passive traits, again, guys, are not in the store for you to buy. You get them automatically from playing FIFA 16 and unlocking them. So remember, you have to play FIFA 16 to get those passive traits if you want to use them. So I'm going to show you guys a clip and make sure for you guys, we're going to jump into the game to make sure if the traits work. So let's pretty much do that in a second. We're going to jump in and drop in match, so it's going to be uh, hard for me to check if I have the passive trait, but I can definitely check if the flare trait works. So here, we are about to get in the game. This was recorded before, so um, I pretty much know what happened. But you guys will pretty much see how it works out. So I'm pretty much doing a high press to try to get the ball back for you guys as soon as possible. Just show you guys that it does work so you guys don't have to really bother about it. You should have it as long as you put the flare trader pass on. Right there, you guys can see I just did a, fla a fancy pass. A uh, flare pass pretty much makes you do fancy pass in Rabonas. Right here, you guys can see a Rabona cross, a beautiful Rabona cross to a goal in the third minute. That is the third minute of after the update. And the game does feel very different. It feels faster for some reason. I don't know if that's... That's a thing they patched, but it just filled faster. So you guys can see right here on this clip of that goal that we scored in that drop-in game that I did end up passing the ball with the fancy pass with the trait and then end up doing a Rabona, which is both a right here. You guys can see a, a, a Rabona. Both that is pretty much fancy uh, flare trait right there working. So that confirms that flare trait does work. Again, EA Sports just patched this and it does work. So yes, go ahead and put the flare trait on and you'll be able to do all the fancy pass you used to do in FIFA 16. And yes, what a flop by the goalkeeper. Yes, we know. Bad flop by the goalkeeper. But yes, guys, thank you to EA Sports. The flare trait finally works again. And we can all do the fancy Ronaldinho passing on that stuff. But I'm going to, again, show you guys another thing. Now, here is the passive traits. Again, you need, you need to be the captain to check if you have the passive trait. Uh, before with the glitch, you had to do that too. But now, there's no glitch. You don't need no glitch to get them. As long as you play FIFA 16, you'll be able to get them. So, you guys can see I have all those traits from FIFA 16. I play FIFA 16. I have power free kick. I have early cross. I have finesse shot, flare pass. Goalkeeper from corners. I didn't even put that up. I have giant throw in. I have uh, outside foot shot. Skill dribbling, which is not even in FIFA 17. Uh, bicycle kick, driven uh, header, driven pass, diving header, driven pass, and a bunch of the other ones, swore pass and all that stuff. Some of those traits I don't even put on on FIFA 17, but I have them because I play FIFA 16 and I earned them myself. So if you did earn them, of course you're going to get them right there for you guys and that's all you need to do to pretty much have it um if you play fifa 16 you will be able to get those passive traits as you guys can see on the screen all of those passive traits you should be able to get them if you play fifa 16 again remember guys you need to play fifa 16 to get the traits. i can't say that enough you have to play fifa 16 you have to have them unlocked on fifa 16 to get them on fifa 17 that is confirmed by ea that's exactly what it said it has to carry over it carries over from fifa 15 but this clip right here is just showing you guys why i think the game feels a bit faster after the update the game feels a little bit faster I don't know if it's me or how my player is playing, but the, I jumped in and my player felt like I'm freaking messy. The dude felt like Usain Bolt running. It just felt so much quicker. It felt like my player actually had 99 pace. No, I don't know if you guys feel that. If you guys do, let me know in the comment. I want to confirm with you guys. Does it, does it feel different after the update? Again, the update just came out. Just let me know what you guys think in the comments. Does it feel like the update make the game made the game a bit faster? Again, I'm going to show you guys that you need to have the flare the flare trait to be able to do fancy passes. You have to have that on if you do want a fancy pass and all that stuff. And, uh, yeah, guys, just let me know if that worked for you guys. Uh, if you guys have any questions, comments whatsoever, no matter what it is, guys, just let, ask away. I am here for you guys. But I'm going to show you guys the best setting, again, for the camera to use in FIFA uh, 17. Uh, everybody been asking me what's the best camera you could use. And uh, b back in FIFA 12, when you put your difficulty to semi-pro and you play pro clubs, your match rating used to actually be 
um, calculated different. It used to be like less. Like if you put professional work class, you used to it used to be really harsh on you. I don't know if that's an issue here on FIFA 17. I don't think it is, so don't bother about that. But the best grammar I think for FIFA 17 pro clubs, if you play as a striker or a midfield, is Tele. And then what you want to do is go to custom. You're gonna go down to custom instead of put default and put 19 height three zoom. This is what it's gonna do. It's gonna make the field really really wide for you, and you'll be able to see everything. I'm gonna show you guys in the cl a clip in a second to show you guys how that works, and you guys. We'll pretty much see how the how wide the field is and I'm gonna show you some of the goals and stuff I score with this camera and how wide it is for you to see all the field and be able to do every, Everything you need to do so guys Thank you guys so much for watching this video if you did enjoy it and it was helpful to you to you Make sure you guys leave me a thumbs up any comments or question leave it in the comment section below Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys on the next video